This is Dave Kendall with Quick Wrap, a look back at some of the week's top stories in the Bangkok Post. China's island building in the South China Sea and tensions on the Korean Peninsula will be high on the agenda at the 35th ASEAN Summit and the 14th East Asia Summit in Myung Tong Thani this weekend. U.S. President Donald Trump is sending only his commerce minister and a national security envoy, a lower-level delegation than in previous years that's likely to be seen as a snub to the region. Thai government and business leaders are seeking clarification from the United States about the planned suspension of 39 billion baht in trade preferences, ostensibly because of failure to curb labor abuses in the fishery industry. Thailand was upgraded to Tier 2 in the U.S. Human Trafficking in Persons report last year, and some speculate the U.S. move was prompted by concerns over the trade imbalance between the two countries. 120 members of the Future Forward Party have resigned, saying their leaders have failed to keep their word. Some of them are former election candidates who say they were promised positions as secretaries or consultants. Party leader Tanaton Jung Rung admitted the party had made mistakes, but pointed out it still has another 60,000 members. 70,000 Catholics from across Thailand and neighboring countries have so far registered to attend the Holy Mass given by Pope Francis at the National Stadium on November the 21st. Those unable to gain entry to the stadium can watch a live broadcast of the Mass on a big screen outside. The Department of Special Investigation is to take over a case in which at least 2,000 victims were allegedly cheated out of more than 430 million baht. The so-called Mare Mani pyramid scheme was run by a couple who offered returns of up to 93% a month. The prime suspect in the murder of a wealthy woman whose body was found in a refrigerator at a house in Chiang Mai has been arrested in Nakhon Sawan province. Police detained Witun Sitabut around 2 p.m. on Thursday and seized 1.2 million baht in cash and a 5 baht weight gold necklace found in his possession. Read these stories in full and many more on BangkokPost.com. 